Hi, welcome to another video. Some days ago, Microsoft released their Phi family models. First, they released their Phi 3 mini model, which is a 4B model. Then, they released their small and medium models, which are 7B and 14B respectively. Next, they released their mini vision model. All these models are quite cool. They performed exactly as Microsoft said. I believe that's a benchmark these days, because after seeing the Gemma, I was quite annoyed by the disparity between what companies say about their models and what they actually deliver. Anyway, the model I found most impressive was the Mini 4 Billion Parameter Model. It's super small and quite knowledgeable considering its size. That's why I use it a lot. Recently, Microsoft upgraded this Mini model even more, and it's now even better. They still call it the Phi 3 model with a June update, but many people are calling it Phi 3.1, which I also think is a more accurate name. The update is only for the Phi 3 mini models, and it's really cool. There's almost a 15% increase in performance compared to the previous version. They say this update is based on valuable customer feedback and includes additional post-training data leading to substantial gains in instruction following and structured output. They've also improved multi-turn conversation quality, explicitly supported system tags, and significantly enhanced reasoning capability. Overall, it's an update in almost every aspect of the model. Let's look at the updated benchmarks they've shared. In the instructions hard and extra hard categories, there isn't much increase. But in the Instructions Challenge benchmark, it goes from 24.6 to 42.3, which is almost a two-fold improvement. The JSON structure output shows a big improvement, jumping from 11.5 to 52.3, about a five-fold increase. The XML structure output also shows a significant improvement, going from 14.4 to 49.8, roughly a four-fold increase. It also shows good improvement in GPQA and MMLU, which is pretty cool. So, it has some really great improvements over the original model. Also, they have updated the new model almost everywhere, from Hugging Face and Olama to Azure AI Studio. So, you can try it out on Azure AI Studio for free, or if you want to use it locally, then you can just pull the model from a llama or hugging face. Now let's try it out and see how it performs. As always, I'll be using these questions to evaluate it. These questions range from simple language tasks to coding. The first question is, what is the number that rhymes with the word we use to describe a tall plant? The answer should be three because it rhymes with tree or nine because it rhymes with vine. Let's send it and see if it answers correctly. Okay, here's the answer. It did not answer correctly. So, it's a fail for this question. Now, the second question is, I have two apples, then I buy two more. I bake a pie with two of the apples. After eating half of the pie, how many apples do I have left? The answer should be two. Let's send it and check. Okay, let's send it over here and wait for a bit. Okay, it did not answer correctly either. Although it did all the reasoning correctly, it gave an incorrect answer in the end. I've seen this same issue with the previous Phi 3 mini model, and the same thing happens with this one as well. So, this one's also a fail. Next, the third question is, Sally is a girl. She has three brothers. Each of her brothers has the same two sisters. How many sisters does Sally have? The answer should be one. Let's see if it can answer correctly. Okay, it again did correct reasoning, but gave an incorrect answer. I don't know why, but ultimately, it fails. Now, the fourth question is a mathematical one. 
If a regular hexagon has a short diagonal of 64, what is its long diagonal? The answer should be 73.9. Let's see if it can answer this. Okay, it fails this question too. So, it's on a streak of four failures. The next one is a coding question. Create an HTML page with a button that explodes confetti when you click it. You can use CSS and JS as well. Let's send it and see if it generates the code. Okay, here's the code. Let's run it and check if it works. Okay, this looks pretty cool and works fine. It's really cool. I wasn't expecting this from it. This one's a pass. Next is another coding question. Write a Python function that prints the next 20 leap years. Reply with only the function. Let's see if it can generate it. Here's the code. Let's run it and check. Okay, this works. It's really cool. I mean, Gemma failed in this, and such a small model is passing these coding questions. It's really cool. Next question is to generate the SVG code for a butterfly. Let's see if it can generate it. Okay, it has generated the code. Let's run it and check. This is not looking fine. It's just one box. So, let's mark it a fail. Now, the next question is, write an HTML page. This HTML page is a landing page for an AI company. They prefer a modern and minimal looking interface with animations. Let's see if it can generate it. Okay, the code is now generated. Let's run it and check. This is very basic, but I prefer this over the 1970s web page that Gemma created. I think you should be able to get better pages with better prompting. So, I'll give this a pass. Next, let's ask it to write a game of life in Python that works on the terminal. I don't think this will work, but let's try it out. Okay, it has given a program here. Let's run it and see. It asks for some inputs, but doesn't work. So, this is not a pass either. So, this is the final chart. As you can see, it only passes in three of the tests. But in two of the questions, it was very close. So, you can give it that as well. Overall, considering its size, I think it performs very well. It's great at coding which is why I really like this one. It's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.